I've always wanted to write a book about naval history. I mean, since I was a kid, and at the age of 11, I used to read, I read Nicholas Montserrat's The Cruel Sea, under the bed covers by torchlight, when I was supposed to be asleep. And I came across the story of HMAS Perth not all that much later, uh, when I was in my teens. And it lodged in the back of my mind, and I've always thought that, yeah, that's a great story waiting to be told. And then I discovered it had been in the 50s and so on. And then I met a couple of the survivors of the ship, and that absolutely hooked me. The ship was only around for about three years uh, before she was lost forever. Uh, the first cruise they had was they picked up the ship in Portsmouth, took it over to New York for the 1939 World's Fair. They had a fabulous time. They met Greta Garbo and, uh, and uh, Ginger Rogers and... Um, uh, Jack Dempsey, the boxing champion, they had a ball. War broke out, they were in the Caribbean. There wasn't much of a war happening there, although they survived an enormous hurricane. They managed that. The second trip they did was to the Mediterranean. The first trip was like a holiday. The second trip in the Mediterranean, uh, they were bombed, I think, from memory, 400 times. Time after time, day after day, they were under air attack from the Germans and the Italians. Uh, that was nasty. The ship was hit by a bomb. And then, of course, the final voyage up to, uh, to Java in uh, 1942, which is where they went down. They were Depression kids, most of them. Uh, it's hard to think of these days when you see these guys and they're in their late 80s and 90s, you know. It's hard to think of them as fresh-faced young boys. That's what they were, 19, 20. Some of them were country kids, never been to sea before. Others were, uh, you know, knockabout kids from places like Paddington in Sydney before, you know, got all gentrified with coach lamps. And they went to sea, not knowing what to expect, but believing that there was a battle to be fought and that they had a duty to defend the country they loved. It was tough, it was pretty rough, but they loved the ship with a passion, and everybody who served in this ship loved her and never, ever forgot her. And whatever other ships they might have served in, Perth always held a special place for them. The facts are there, uh, the naval and the nautical detail is there, but I've tried to write like a novel so that it's got tension and elements of surprise, of, uh, of tragedy and triumph, so that it reads that way as well.